Hey everyone, we had some tech issues that resulted in losing the last 30 minutes of the episode. We will cover the details of what was missed in depth in the next recap. Thanks for joining us. Now let's get right into the adventure. Welcome back, everybody, to Dungeons and Devil Fruits One Piece D and D. I am your DM Orion, and with me, as always, is Akisu Blackburn, Micah. Oh. <laughs> what, what was that? Like you <laughs> cut out? Oh. I was trying to imitate. A <laughs> i don't know what that was it just i like it, it sounded like you were like being swallowed by like some kind of giant as you were trying to say something yeah uh, for some people that's the fantasy and <laughs> our ship's doctor scrim bimbus snyder yeah <laughs> Is that Snyder's uh, sound now? He, he's taking up a, a no. Smoking? I'm just. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> he does have cigarettes. He does have cigarettes. <laughs> For medical purposes. <laughs> For medical purposes. He's got medicinal cigarettes, like that episode of House. Here, smoke a pack a day. And now, then... Rory, you can't be. Stealing these from me here. <laughs> we gotta pay a reasonable price for these ciggies. <laughs> and then uh, our amazingly deadly shipwright, hockey, uh, not hockey, Chibiusa, played by Siana. That's me. And glowy uh, boy Tonga. <laughs> Played by Sam. Up, I'm alive. I live another day. <laughs> it, it was a close call last session. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> and you know what they say. What doesn't kill you gets you loot. Uh, I mean, I, I always thought it was like, whatever doesn't kill you usually succeeds in the second attempt. But here we go. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, you guys uh, started off in the middle of a combat. Big confrontation between the captain of the zoo pirates, Orestes Zoo, and the captain of the Thai Man pirates, Captain Vex. Uh, he walks out, basically strung up the Captain Zoo uh, with uh, a tie as a noose for, from a big old Thai mannequin. Uh, it just completely took him out in the alleyway. You guys don't know what happened there. You managed to finish off uh, the Thai Man forces. Some of the uh, zoo pirates made a strange getaway. Didn't Some didn't even bother to fight. The ones that did were rather confused. And you got, what is it, like three... Uh, devil fruit users that you've managed to take out in this one fight yeah and uh, we've had some very interesting talks in between sessions this week about what you intend to do with them uh, that being said uh, the the floor is yours guys what do you want to do oh we all yeah, that I, fucking ride. i believe when we ended last time snyder had uh got me up to one so i'm not unconscious. Why are, why are there two chibis? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Chibi's evil twin. Um, She's so fast so, that she has <laughs> Anga would be uh, kind of like on the ground, hooking himself back up as he takes a moment to look over the scene as the quiet of battle kind of falls over. We all look at each other. Kind of give a nod to Chibiusa. I walk over to Captain Vex's body. I'm going to crouch down. And yeah, we're just going to start searching them. I want to uh, quickly 
pull out like some syringes and start filling them up with uh, their blood. All right, all right. Now, I... You don't hog all the good stuff for yourself. <laughs> now, I will say that given the uh, nature of the Devil Forged class, I'm going to allow you to, like... You can use these in terms of if you want to gain a new spell or ability that thematically aligns with the thing that you're taking. Right. Now, your how, uh, your spell slots for your abilities, that's a different story, but mm -hmm. I digress. Right. And um, as I kind of fend the Max's blood and I walk over to the lion guy, can I, I examine him? Like, what state is his body in? All right. I'm going to have you give me a medicine check. Okay. Can I have advantage with Snyder being next to me? I mean, I'd, I'd be inclined to say that Snyder should be the one doing the check. <laughs> uh, um... right. How about I give Snyder advantage? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're like checking over the body. Snyder's just like coming over, like move yeah, aside. Like, Snyder, come take a look at this. All right, okay, okay. Yeah, I'd just be, like, rummaging through his pockets while they're doing this. I don't even care. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, as you're going through the pockets, uh, you do find a kind of a crude map of the North Blue. Seems to be kind of a... Nice. Pretty hand-drawn. You find a good spyglass. It seems to be of a very reputable quality. Uh, not with, like, just a single tiny scratch on the front lens. Also, you find, let's see here, a I'm log a pose. Let's go. Wait, let's go. I'm going to put the log pose. It's like a wrist thing, right? Yeah, it's like a, a it. compass that attracts yeah. to the magnetic poles of yeah, islands. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. It seems to be pointing somewhere south, although like a, you're not too entirely sure about it. Mm-hmm. I'm Actually, you know what? G check. Give me a uh, history check to see if uh, if you know too anything about log poses. Ooh, it could be an eternal pose. Fifteen. Okay. With that, you know that this is, in fact, a log pose. Now, it seems to be locked on some island to the south in the in the Grand Line. What island that is, is anyone's guess, but it does seem like a rather generic pose, so it could get magnetically locked onto any island that you stick around to long enough. So it, it's not an eternal pose. Very useful also, for the what future, am I though. rolling for this medicine check? Yes. Okay, moving on to... Or not? Yeah, moving back okay. to your medicine check... Uh, what'd you roll for that? I haven't rolled yet. Okay, well, you roll with advantage. Right. That was almost three. <laughs> okay, so judging by the state of the body, he's Bradley. He's badly bruised, but you notice the the clear signs of strangulation. Mm -hmm. As evidenced by around the neck, you're like, yep, this guy is strangled. I'm going to kind of look at this and I... What's your opinion on organ harvesting? I mean, man... Oh, for the sake of scientific reason. Search. Oh, I have an idea, but... Maybe a bit morbid. As long as I'm not in the room, I... I don't object. Big <laughs> Joe licks your hand, Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> I just look down and I'm like... Uh. <laughs> 
You said the oh. map was of the North Blue Ridge. Yeah, so that, that's the current sea that you're in. Mm -hmm. Actually, I shall cast animals so I can know what Big Joe is saying. Oh, well, yeah, you decides can... to speak. You can. You now have the hockey ability to commune with the animals. Nice. Oh, oh, I also remember putting my devil's brand on the Captain Vex. I would have healed when he died anyway. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Say either, either way, you're up. Uh, yes. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I want to crouch down the lion guy and look this night and I'm going to say I want you to harvest something for me. What is it exactly? I'm going to look down at his body. We may need this guy's heart. Uh, uh, Maybe a liver if we can get it. I mean, that's not too hard to get. I will say that he it's is just... in his hybrid form. It's getting through the rib cage is the the, the hard uh, part. I could help with that. <laughs> <laughs> just double hand fist fucking hammer smash. Rip his fucking chest open. Like... <laughs> oh! <laughs> he is a chef. He's no stranger than to getting through a hard rib cage. <laughs> it is true. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna start like pulling out like my <laughs> my carving knives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Tonga, you can uh, you can give me a survival check and or uh, or either a survival check or cooks utensils. Okay. Oops, with advantage or no? Mm, not with advantage, just just flat out. Oh, that was so close to a twenty-five. <laughs> well, you are proficient with your cook's utensils. Yeah. Oh, I see. The issue is that you have them under intelligence. Does it not use my? This would be a dexterity. Ooh, okay. Well, it would add a three. Yeah, so just so add your dexterity to that. Okay, so it? it'd be 11. All right, well, you start kind of like a carving in, in like it, it, it takes you a couple minutes. It, it's, it's not easy, but you do yeah. manage to work your way through. It's Grizzly something about cat. the hybrid physiology that is like, it just makes it difficult. It's kind of foreign to you. Mm. Yeah, I imagine this would be like the first time I'm like <laughs> doing anything that's not like an animal. So, like, yeah. Little, little... I mean, it's still animalistic in nature. And as, as we're kind of doing this, I'm going to look to Big Joe. I'm going to say... Hey, Big Joe. He kind of like uh, goes on up to you and just like <laughs> his cold nose kind of like brushes against uh, your fingertips and he just kind of like starts licking at some of the blood. I'm just like, hmm. I should cut this first. Or maybe not. I just kind of think on that for a second <laughs> as I like step back to let Snyder like do his part. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I kind of rub my hands and sweat, swipe my brow a little bit and step forward. Now, since Tonga did open up the rib cage for you, uh, you can roll with advantage for this. That would be with in medicine. Uh, yeah. All of the tools Almost the opposite them? ends of the spectrum. Yeah, very much so. Holy! <laughs> I had a 19 and a 1. Oh, yeah, I, I'd say that helps. So, 
<laughs> with a total of 22, you you just kind of like uh, take some of your surgical utensils and just kind of like start poking and prodding and like cutting away, uh, removing some of the bits of sinew and muscle fibers and kind of like cut away at the tubes and you manage to pull the heart and it's still warm to the touch. I just shudder at the thought and just... <laughs> you find that it's much larger than you anticipated. Most likely due to the lion uh, aspects. I'm gonna pull out like um, just some like cloth from my bag or whatever. I'm just gonna like wrap it up. I don't know. As you do, like a big Joe just starts sniffing around at it. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of like hold it out to him, see if he wants it raw. He he kind of tongues the bag a tiny bit. I mean, like I, I'm gonna like have it like on the cloth so that it's not just like in my hands, you know? Kind of. Like oh, I thought you turn it into like a, like use the cloth to be like a bag. Uh, okay, I see. Like a little napkin. <laughs> okay. And I'm just kind of like I hold it in my hands out to him, see if he wants it. He he takes interest, in, so you're just holding it out to him. Yeah, I'm kind of like offering to him, like, go ahead. He just kind of like takes it in his mouth and like kind of scampers off to a little, little uh, corner in the side and just kind of like a one paw over another just starts kind of chewing at it. I'm going to look down one of the lion guy. Say, like, alright. I guess we can collect the bounties now. And then uh, alright, Rory and Tilda still aren't back yet. Yeah. I almost oh. want to be like, oh yeah, Mr. Snyder. <laughs> but no, he's I'm going to the TV at the end of this. I'm going to say, flip down the bird guy. He's, right? he's like next to me. Oh, oh yeah, it, she brought him along. She went, she retrieved the body. <laughs> um, yeah, can I examine him next? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Ryan, what was that third item I found? It was the map, the log pose, and it was the uh, spyglass. Ah, yes, yeah, spyglass. Moving back to the looting here, um, Akisu, you find about uh, 55,000 berry on mm -hmm. Captain Vex. Let me double this. 55,000 on Vex. And uh, you find a total of about... Uh, about a hundred thousand, a hundred and three uh, ish thousand uh, across uh, the various bodies that you've looted. Because I'm assuming you're just looting whatever you can get. Yes. Now, uh, on Wendell, uh, one of the uh, guy, one of the guys there, uh, the the guy with the very the sunken uh, face and everything. Uh, you do find mm -hmm. that he has a a broken uh, set of uh, sea prism stone cuffs. Like, mm -hmm. one cuff still working. Okay. Broken prism cuffs. Okay. And on the uh, t and on the Captain Vex, you find a Still, uh, keeping its shape, tie sword. Functionally, it'll it's like a uh, long sword, and it it's in the it's just a big old tie with little uh, little purple duckies on it. <laughs> it when you pick it up, it, it's it's as light as you'd expect of a tie, but it is the size and uh, length of a long sword. This has the light and finesse properties. Additionally, you also uh, find a tie whip. That's uh, got a nice paisley pattern to it. On the uh, lion guy, you find yourself uh, another Denden Mushi. So, transponder snail. Oh, nice. 
Hmm. More communication. Yeah, we'll fucking join them. Join them. That. <laughs> That's good. Now, uh, on on the what, first mate not, you find uh, let's see, I have to roll a dice for this. Where did I put those dice? There they are. Okay, you find. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, you find four uh, small bombs. Uh, these bombs have a DC of 13 and do 3d6 fire damage for a 10 foot radius. Nice. So, you said three fire bombs? DC yeah. 13 damage. You said 1d6? Uh, 3d6. Three three, fire damage? Yep. Uh, pop that in the chat. And you I also added, find various um, little trinkets on some of the money. other uh, bodies, uh, totaling uh, about, uh, I'd say, 1,500 berry in... Uh, Total, like just just a little small things. Mm. Okay, so so far you have a total of one fifty eight, a little under like one sixty thousand bear. All right. In addition to all that, uh. Lots of these uh, pirates have uh, pistols and uh, swords, so... Mm -hmm. yeah, you're definitely going to collect them. Yeah, you find about uh, five pistols and six swords. Mm -hmm. Listen, Snyder. Yes. Are, are any of these people savable? Uh. <laughs> you look around the carnage of the battlefield. <laughs> D define savable. Like, they could open their eyes and start talking again if it's some miracle work. Anyone that hasn't finished their death save yet. <laughs> uh... uh... I mean, I guess I can take a look around. See what's up. Take I a just... look at, um... What was her name? The Thick Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Thickums. You know Miss Thickums. <laughs> blood bottles I get from each of these people. Uh, what was that, Tonga? How many, uh, blood bottles do I get from each of the... Uh, how many uh, vials do you have to fill with blood? I think I have like, I don't know, at least like six. If you want to fill all six, you can. Many. Or if you just want to have like a single sample of each, that's also fine. No, I probably want like two. Of each. All right, you you fill your six vials. Okay, so what do you want to do with the uh, the? Miss Thickums. Oh yeah, Miss Thickums, <laughs> not Kiera. <laughs> I want to see if she can be uh, saved, so I can maybe recruit her, possibly. Convert. <laughs> you go up to her recruit? and and <laughs> she is dead. <laughs> Damn. No. I'll be like, I'll let you on. Fire. <laughs> Listen, I understand that I gave you third degree burns over 90 percent of but if you can find it in your heart, which isn't burnt, to forgive me. <laughs> to join my crew. <laughs> find it in your not burned heart. <laughs> what was the uh the lion guy's name? Uh, the, uh, lion guy, or Orestes Zoo. Captain Zoo. 
Two of those. If it wasn't for his name, they would have been simply called uh, the the Lion Main Pirates. But what you gonna do? No, no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I'll probably just put Bird. Guy blood. <laughs> Okay, and uh, is there like a crate nearby? A crate? Just a crate. Yeah, uh, you, you look around and you find a crate. I'm gonna go grab that crate and just start loading it with all the guns <laughs> and swords. I thought that was where you're gonna load all the bodies because you'll need them for the <laughs> bounties. You're like, oh, let's just I could use some of uh... <laughs> let's just stuff them here. <laughs> you know, I was thinking I could use the dude's like tie. To, like net so I could wrap them all and drag them. You, you know what? <laughs> that that is viable. I'll have you do a survival check because that's just that's a whole lot of knot tying. Yeah. But yeah, sure. What do we find on the? Uh, oh yeah, you succeed. Eighteen. Yeah, you make a big old <laughs> tie net. Uh, Anything interesting on the lion man? Yeah, or the other like vice captains. Uh, let's see. I. Akisu. Do we know if anyone some... besides these? Uh, Akisu what? did go through some of the uh, looting because I just kind of like across some yeah. of these bodies. Yeah. So I was kind of including them in it. Oh okay. okay. Do we know if any of the the grunt? have down or is it just the three from what you can tell the the grunts were a lot of just kind of like no name kind of faces it's gonna leave them in the street i don't give a fuck yeah leave them whatever are we taking the captains yeah because like a, vices. E even if they did have bounties it's it's like hard to say that they'd even be worth all that much in comparison yeah listen Tonga I need you to carry this crate of guns we're gonna sell them alright carry the bodies I mean roughly how uh, how heavy is the crate of guns I mean you had like six pistols, pistols six <laughs> <laughs> okay and so I don't give a shit who carries it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna try to load them on your disc? <laughs> yeah, just so we have more hands to carry stuff. Well, I got the bodies. Can you carry five bodies by yourself? I thought we only had three. No, we got the three, the two captains and the three vices. The disc can hold up to 500 pounds. Can uh, I roll yes. for that? Yeah, Tonga's new, uh, not Tonga, uh, Snyder's new ability, he summons a door that just simply floats around and he could just put stuff on the door. Maybe, uh, uh huh? what did you say? The joke, joke can help you pull them if you, like, round them up. Yeah, true. Yeah, I tied them all together with the t dude's yeah, ties. Yeah, so the joke could help you pull them. He is the right breed of dog to do something like that. Yeah. Huskies yeah, are known for like being sled dogs. You, do you have to, like, expend something to like... use your ability? Uh, it's a... I think it's, like, oh, one use of my devil fruit. I feel like we should save that, then. For, like, yeah. actual... Thankfully, because he, because y'all leveled up, he gets an addition. He gets more uses of that. <laughs> I don't remember how many per. I think it's just one. Mm. At any rate, so y'all round up uh, the, uh, the the main bodies and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Ready to cash in. Where do we take them? <laughs> take them to the ship. No, but when? Oh. Uh, I think we have, we'll have to go to like a naval base. Or the Marines. Right? Someone with 
navy expertise. I'm sure there's a, mili a marine base on this island somewhere. Uh, not on this island, but there is a, a naval oh. base in the North Blue. For the... Okay, so we'll just have to sail for it. I'm just going to I'll say I that it's the G3 stay. base. Now, th this base, uh, thankfully, Akisu having a map of the North Blue, uh, you do see it marked on there. Oh, okay. How far is it? Let's see. Uh, who has the best navigation skills? Um, um, what would uh, just, just give me a... Uh, mm, give me a survival check. I have a plus three on survival, I'll do it. Oh. Yeah, that, that's easily, like, well. weak. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. I'm like, ah, maybe a week. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> He's like, you dumb fuck. That's like, like three days. days. <laughs> <laughs> Do I think Chibi looks at the little weird. scaling thing on the side. It yeah, just like kind of measures it around. Like, oh no, that's three days. Yeah, I thought that, I thought we couldn't sail that long though. Mm, you probably can't. You just got it. No, you just have to get the ship uh, more fixed up. We're just not ready to like. But not, we need uh, their money. <laughs> to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said it was saleable, just not like not like long, long distances. Expedition. I feel like three days is long. Yeah. <laughs> not really. Uh, as you as you guys are having this conversation, you just kind of hear a big old uh, kind of speaker sound uh, from like all the directions uh you, you know how like uh, there's intercom speakers like you kind of like hear like ring ring oh over like the uh yeah. intercoms at like a school mm -hmm. and you just uh yeah they're just like oh yeah is this thing on hmm hello testing one two three testing okay fine fine this is Captain Woodrow the Thundertail. Zoo pirates and time and pirates. Your captains are dead by my hand. The heir of weak leaders has driven was driven by gluttoning and fear, and it ends now. A storm approaches. One that will bury this island under snow. A storm only I can control. Those who want to live, and those who want power, will report to their ships, and they will kneel before their new captain. Fail to submit, and you'll freeze where you stand. Join me, and you'll rise with the Thundertail Pirates. Re refuse, and face your end. It's that simple. And if you feel that, that some of your family members on the island that have grown fat with all of this refuse these these past decades well, it could be useful to me bring them along too i could always use more in my fleet that is all ta-ta click oh hell no come on let's get these bodies back to the ship and take the bitch it. down <laughs> 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 He ain't about to fucking ride on our accomplishment. You, you hear the thing uh, going the against like, uh, perhaps I wasn't clear the first time. <laughs> this blizzard that I, c this storm I control, it's a blizzard. I'm going to bury this island with snow. Click. <laughs> and it's just like, y'all kind of like look back for to each other like, what? This fucker thinks he could threaten the whole island. Well, and, and All we right. our credit. Our I mean, we have the bodies. So. I say we get him back to the ship. We uh, 
and we hunt this fucker down. Yeah. yeah. It's up. Right now. Mm. You guys, uh, everyone with a passive is perception above 10, which is basically like all of you. <laughs> uh, you do hear various panic amongst the street, the surrounding streets around you. The local area where the main fighting, uh, where you guys are, is largely mm-hmm. quiet. But just because, like, there's no one around. But you do hear a lot of uh, panicked people kind of shuffling and moving around on the uh, streets in the distance. Mm-hmm. As do I know where, like, the transmitting like station is for the, the loudspeakers? Uh, g- give me a uh, give me a history check. Like, with disadvantage, just because, like, you may have been around this island for a while, but, like, not that long. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know. Like, uh, these transponder snails could be transmitting from anywhere on the island. Even if you did oh, know where the uh, transmit transmitting station was, it's a snail. They could have easily moved it. Oh, they could do it from the snail. That makes sense. I was picturing like a like a radio station. Yeah, <laughs> like... I mean that's how tra- these transponder snails kind of take uh, the place of radio stations here. Makes sense. Yeah, I just kind of as we run back to the ship, just kind of sneering to myself. <laughs> Try to threaten me with a cold. What a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> threaten me with a cold? I have theraflu. <laughs> he was a no average since the cold damage. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know I have resistance. <laughs> like that fucking meme. All right. I'm fucking bugging it back to the ship. Okay, so you guys get back to the ship, and there, there's a lot of uh, stuff going on in town on your way there, so let's just kind of see if you encounter anything significant on your way. So, as you kind of go through, you kind of see various pirates. Uh, It seems to be either out of some kind of fear or opportunism that have already kind of begun to march in lockstep with Woodrow's banner. Um. And they seem to be... uh, there's just people all over the place. Uh, like, hey, come on. Come on. We, we got to work. We have to go work with Captain Woodrow. And then, like, you just uh, see the, this one uh, guy, like, come on, Mom. We, we Working for Woodrow will be, it'll, it'll be the best opportunity for us. It's not a phase. We got to go. <laughs> so you, you see, like, uh, just <laughs> many of these people are just trying to constrict conscript others to join uh, Woodrow's fleet. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, one of them actually... I just uh, be like, listen, don't do that. We're gonna beat his ass. Yeah, yeah. So I... I yeah. Do, like, one is just like, uh... I'm gonna he kind of killed two of the captains, the but... Uh, you know what? You do you. I I, I got... I got friends that I need to make sure Who do you see sure on my up. shoulder right now, little man? Who Who's on my shoulder right now? That's Captain Todd. That means I took him down. Do you see Woodrow with Captain Ty? Captain Vex, whatever. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Can I have advantage since I literally have his body? <laughs> I'm gonna say no, because like this guy's too right. scared to be rational. I still <laughs> rolled a 14. Yeah. There is a 12 foot woman he... standing in front of him. You can't even see your shoulders. Like <laughs> he's like. <laughs> You, you know what? You make a compelling argument, but I have a buddy that's been working with them, and he, he was talking about dance powder, and uh, if that shit happens here on this island, we're all buried. And You're so just, right. And he You're runs so off. Right. The, you know what? You have a great point. When when we get back to the ship, I I want to like take Akisu onto the deck and like 
You're gonna what? I want to. I want you and me to take go her to below the deck. deck. Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> to the top of the, to the deck, you know, to where we can like look out over everyone. And I want to, uh, I want to call out the people and use my really good persuasion. As you guys uh, are get down to the area, you you do see yeah. uh, uh, you see Rory and Tilda kind of uh, running towards the ship with mm. ties kind of uh, attached to them. They get on board, oh and kind of a little out of breath. <sighs> hey, Snyder. Glad, glad to see you made uh, it back. Yeah. What, what? What's going on? And then Tilda just kind of like looks to Rory. Well, you see, we uh, we got captured. Uh, you didn't give him anything, right? I mean, we didn't really have anything to give. No, I mean words. No, no, they. During all the fighting back there, they, they thought us. They thought we were some of the zoo pirates, and uh, that, that's why I had to get rid of the the shawl thing. And uh, one thing led to another. We got tied up, and uh, they they made some threats. Uh, some uh, asshole over in the intercom started talking, and then uh, before you know it, uh, they ran off to go uh, join his crew. And we made our escape. Well, well, I'm glad you're safe. I'm glad to see that you're okay. Yeah, you know, it's not the first time we've been tied up. I'm gonna look over at Rory. I'm like, can you believe this asshole? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, well, uh, ac actually, I don't know what to believe, Mr. Tonga. The, uh, what happened? I'm gonna uh, check it out, Rory, and I'm gonna hold the uh, Captain Vex by, like, the scruff of the neck. <laughs> and, like, dump the bodies on the table. <laughs> Rory just kind of uh, recoils back. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Remember, yeah. the body is, like, filleted open. <laughs> Wait, of like, Vex or the lion guy? The lion guy. Oh, oh well. <laughs> it's just there's a a filleted body. I imagine we like wrap that one up. We don't just carry like open just, like <laughs> organs just spilling out. Yeah, we wrapped him in like a sheet or something. Like <laughs> Big Joe's just kind of like chilling in the corner. Did, uh, did yeah, I tried to kill Big Joe, but don't worry, we took Snyder care of him. Uh, what was that, Tonga? Did Big Joe say anything that Snyder understood? Well, yeah, the, uh, uh, Snyder didn't really yeah. ask him anything. Oh, uh, he just passed to speak with animals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Snyder can speak with animals now. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Which, which apparently was part of the uh, the uh, hockey ability he unlocked, uh, unlocked last session. I, I I didn't read that part, but I still yeah. think it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> At level five, I get water walking and water breathing. I won't be able to swim, but I can walk on water. You know what? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> water. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> if you're able to use water breathing. What are you fucking talking about? I'd be like throw? a fishman that can just drown. <laughs> Up until the the pressure of the deep crushes your body, so yeah, it makes you more rescuable if you get to that point. Yeah, if I get thrown in the ocean, I can cast that and not drown. But yeah, I want to um. I want to take Aki to like where we can like see as many people as possible. Um, okay, so you go up to the, the uh, prow of the ship, yeah. and and you see and various do... uh, people kind of going up to ships and like, oh, let us aboard, let us aboard, and like uh, just uh, it, it's absolute chaos at the docks. They're either trying to leave or recruit, basically. Since you guys were already on route and didn't really have any need to prepare. You guys got there uh, slightly ahead of the crowd. Mm -hmm. And as you guys are looking out over the dock, you see 
Gordy Hurst with uh, uh, as well as a, a couple dark skinned uh, men that aren't really familiar to you. Like uh, he's like kind of like an Indian kind of dark, like a uh, and kind of like frumpy hair. Mm -hmm. uh, rather fan, rather kind of uh, fancy outfits, and one has a uh, beautiful uh, brown, uh, a beautiful uh, wife with like a, a brown dress and blue hair, mm -hmm. and like a huh? Gordy just kind of calls over to you guys. Hey, Akisu, Captain Blackburn, you there? Who the fuck is Gordy again? Uh, he's the guy that uh, you guys sold a bunch of guns to. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. S I'm gonna that to Tang. I'm just gonna look at him. Like, Who the fuck is this guy? Who is this guy? One of my like merchant buddies. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, I'll kind of gesture. Just, I'm just him. gonna wait. Like, What's up? I. Yeah, I was trying to give him a gesture. You're aware of the situation. Oh, I'm fully aware. We kind of caused the situation. <laughs> Tilda just kind of like I'm fully aware, like, oh, and I just want you to know it's a lie. Uh, that be that as it may. Uh, now, trust me, I do not want to take to see. But my my employer here, and he kind of like gestures to the man next to him. It it, it appears that the uh, two men next to him are twin brothers. Hmm. Okay. And uh, the the man closest to him is uh, holding a a very strangely shaped uh, wicker basket. Okay. As a, it's like, well, we need to get off the island, as it were. I mean, don't leave just yet. Would you grant us passage? Uh, in the worst case. What do you mean? I'm not the boss of you. Do what you want. But I'm just saying, it's, it's, shit's gonna be good in like a day. Hey, you are safe with us. As you say that, it does. It starts to snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. As it okay, as it starts to snow, I want to kind of I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda like light up as like bright as I can to kind of get everyone's attention. Damn, Rudolph, what you gotta say? <laughs> I'm just gonna kinda like start to glow like bright and I'm just gonna kinda be like everyone Woodrow is a coward, a liar, and a deep. I'm gonna this grab the body of Vex while you're doing this and hold him up. Fear not. We will put a stop to this as we have put a stop to the other captains. And I'll kind of gesture to Akisu as she holds up the bodies. <laughs> oh, damn. And be like, he did nothing that he claimed. He may control the snow, but he does not control us. We will go stop him. And his plot. Fear not. Y'all are safe in the hands of the Blackburn Pirates. I'm just Who gonna say, write that Blackburn name Pirates. down in your book. And then, like, uh, some shouts one guy, and then, like, uh, other people are like, yeah! I'm like, okay, okay, <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> and, so, and you just see, like, one woman just like, you hear that, honey? Like, the, the weird pirate people are not gonna enslave us. <laughs> Today we I'm just gonna mumble under my breath. That's free. choice. <laughs> and they turn around and try to control you again. How dare they? Yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> this is our chance to rise up, to take control of our own fates. You gonna let a beaver fuck control you and the weather? Some get, a lot of a bunch of uh, people in the crowd are like, yeah. And then one of them's just like, what's a beaver? 
<laughs> exactly. I'm gonna follow up with. Remember this name, Akizu Blackburn, the one who will become the next king of the pirates. And I say this as I like toss Vex to the ground. All right. To the ground, to the ground on the ship, or like the ground. Uh, the, <laughs> the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. To hopefully make a check on his mate. All right, so like you do have like a, a small uh, crowd of people just kind of like uh, paying attention. The the rest of the docks is complete chaos. That's fine. <laughs> uh, make a uh, either performance or persuasion check. Okay. With advantage. Um. Hmm. No. Just because, oh like, you're not well known enough for that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you, know, you get a, you, you get like a, a couple dozen people. They're like, yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, these people probably. I'm just gonna be like, you don't have to put your faith in us. Have faith in yourselves. Keep everyone around you safe and calm as they can. We'll do what we can to. And Can as you're water? as you're finishing up your speech, like uh, you, Tonga, you recognize uh, the the old uh, man, uh, the the shipwright, uh, the guy that kind of like the, the head of the shipwrights that you had talked to previously over transponder snail. Like you had given him a call for an order recently, right? And he has just like this a crew of like half a dozen uh, workers with him. Tonga, you. And I look over, give him a knowing nod, because I recognize him. Ah, good to see you. Fancy speech you made. It seems uh, <laughs> I, I can see that you've procured the goods. It's just a matter of cashing in. As promised. Very well. Kind of... Now, the, the thing is, my men are going to need, we will need to be paid at some point. However, I'm not so sure kind words are going to stop the snowfall. It's already a month too early. Kind of not knowingly. The days it... of a crazy man cannot be stopped once started. From the looks of your Thanks. ship, you're not going to be able to sail much more than a day. We're willing to trade work to be able to get off the island. But you still want to leave if we defeat Captain Woodrow? If, if you're able to leave after... If you're able to defeat him and stop all of this... Fair Fair we're, we're more than happy to trade work for... Having a problem solved. Nice. And I kind of get the, the why. It's just good green. business. We built our lives here. I'm gonna slap him on the back, but a little bit too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna say, "Mom, man." <laughs> you got yourself a young lady. You remind me of my wife in her early days. <laughs> He sounds like a great of, woman. Kind of gesture to Chibi. She's our chip. You can get acquainted with her. And then uh, Chibi's like, you, you, you have a whole bunch of uh, shipwrights at your disposal. Yay. <laughs> Put them to work. <laughs> All right. So do we like a short rest? Yeah, you can, you can take a short rest. I don't need to, but I didn't know if anyone else needed to. Uh, I think Tonga benefits the most from a short rest. Yeah, I get my spells back. Okay, so... As you guys short rest, you, you hear the buzz and the carpentry of 
all these shipwrights building up and working on and like attending all these uh, parts of the ship that Chibi uh, hadn't gotten around to. And even like some finer points, like you see just uh, one guy kind of working on uh, the trim around the doors. Mm -hmm. Nice. And Rory's just kind of like, wow, like, this is amazing. Finally did what we gotta do. And then uh, as all of that's going on, Gordy and uh, the two uh, brothers uh, that he brought with him, you, you kind of like a... Uh, They've just kind of be mulling around because they've been listening to the, some of the situation. Mm -hmm. And then Gordy approaches uh, Tonga again. Tonga. If, if worse comes to worst, I, I need to know one thing. Do you think your crew is strong enough to face a Sea King? Hmm. One hundred percent. I'm listening in. <laughs> I'm giving this a real talk. And I'm kind of, kind of look over everyone. Do I? Mm. Do you? Mm. you? You look at uh, everyone. You're like, I, I think Tonga. You, you'd be like, okay, Sea Kings. You, you've seen some before. Mm -hmm. Sea monsters, the size of a ship that can destroy a ship. Yeah. I'll kind of think on it for a minute. With time. I think we'll get there. And I kind of give him like a wide smile. I would love to hunt one. That may come so sooner rather than later. Should things not go right. Why do you say that? It's a... Uh... No, no. Don't worry about it. Kind of give him a I'm worried about it. When the time comes, you let us know. Uh, give, give a persuasion check. Okay. Oh yeah. It, he he kind of looks you in the eyes, almost searching for something in there, mm -hmm. and he. <laughs> His face just kind of hardens, and he, he kind of like sees just a little bit of a, like he's starting to acquiesce a little. It just like takes a deep breath. <sighs> yeah. When the time comes, and we'll be ready. And he, he kind of clutches a little necklace or, around his neck. When when the time comes. <sighs> okay. Give him like a new pat on the back. We're going to do good for this island. I, I certainly hope so. And and then, like, uh, all of a sudden, his uh, one of the brothers uh, speaks up. The, the one uh, holding the little cage. Ah, this is my employer, Talem. Hi. Well, then. It's nice to meet your acquaintance, Mr. Tonga. I, give him I, I am Talem, and this is my brother, Kalem. We are of the Spicy Bros Tent Stall. Maybe you've heard of us? <laughs> no. You have. They're, they're one of the more popular stalls on the island. They they hold spicy food competitions, and they market their uh, their spicy food as a way of like keeping people warm during the cold times. Mm. Yeah, I'll give them a nod. Uh, so yeah, I'm a big fan. You may not have heard of... Uh, the grassy stall, but that one is mine. I'm known as the Azul Drassi around these parts. You can call me Tonga. Ah, yes, the Azul Drassi. I have heard of you. Uh, tell me, uh, uh, Mr. Azul Drassi, do you partake in those of the spicier caliber? I do, I do. I am a little bit of a glutton myself. Ah, very good, very good. 
You can tell a lot about a man's character by uh, his tolerance for the spicier things in life. You have eaten what I have. Hmm. I can tell I like I like you already. Now my my brother here and his wife, they they're planning to get married. And I'm hoping that they should things uh, I'm hoping to get uh, all of them off the island. Thing things are not going as I planned at all. I, you and me both. <laughs> And you, you kind of, like, hear from uh, the uh, little basket to his side. Uh, upon closer inspection, it kind of resembles a... It has, like, a cage-like uh, appearance to it. And you just uh, hear from inside uh, a little voice. You better keep good on your deal! You recognize Darius's voice. <laughs> kind of look down. I always do, Darius. Oh, hi Tonga. I'm not I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to uh, Kaleem here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean <laughs> I mean tell him. Uh, whichever one. I, I confuse myself. <laughs> yes. I, I uh, as promised. <laughs> this doesn't even matter now. And he, he opens uh, he, the basket cage, and you see Darius with a, 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 a little a small Tatanda uh, woman and a, a, an old man, uh, one as well. Hmm. Is this your family? Yes, it is. This is my wife, Barb. And this is my father-in-law, uh, Garth Uncle. Garth Uncle? <laughs> nah, pleasure. Mm. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Darius has told us all about you. Said you helped him a great deal. And gave him yeah. a great deal of trouble. <laughs> Someone is able to catch her, Darius. Oh. Uh, I've never heard of a tall man able to catch a, one of our kind so easily. <laughs> nah, it was an interesting experience. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Perhaps we can do more together. And uh, Darius just kind of looks up to uh, Utonga and he's just like, uh, I'd like to speak to the captain about joining you guys. if If you'll have us. I kind of look down at the walking too. What do you think? What? Darius and what? his family okay. would like to join us. I mean, oh, after he ditched us? Yeah, he had, he had stuff to take care reasons. of. Yeah. He had prior engagements. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally there in a basket with his uh, wife and father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna crouch down and like poke my head in and be like, uh, "Are you gonna talk about that time in the cave?" <laughs> uh, as you, <laughs> as you kind of poke in, I, I want you to make either a medicine or a perception check. Why medicine? Uh, whichever's better Let's for you. Mind your business. Fourteen. You're not entirely sure, but his wife do be looking kind of pregnant. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of look down and say, hey, family first. Huh? He had to protect his family, right? Well... Make sure they were okay. Anyway, uh, is he going to talk about that time in the cave? I need his answer. Akisu? That goes to the grave with both of us. <laughs> That's a good answer. Welcome aboard. 
He, he he tries to shake your hand, but he just like gets a little bit of fingernail <laughs> instead. It's just like <laughs> he's just so tiny compared to a normal person. So it's even all the much tinier compared to you. So, uh, what's your lovely wife's name? Barb. Barb, this Barb. is uh, Captain Akisu Blackburn of the Blackburn Pirates. Nice to meet you. Thank you for taking care of my dear husband while he was away. Oh, I took care of him all right. <laughs> Sl slight hints of jealousy creep into her face. <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. Nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, mm, good. And she just kind of like gives you one of those quaint little shoulder shrug smiles. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Talking to the old man. My name is Garth Uncle. Oh, yeah. I fucking knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want you to be locked up in a cage unless you want to be in here. So. <laughs> unless you want to be in a cage. <laughs> I don't know what you're into. <laughs> Darius says that you, uh, your crew is heading for the Grand Line. Yep. Our home is in the Grand Line, and as it stands, very the the pirates of this area are too stagnant to go anywhere, and make anything useful of themselves. But you're of a different oh, breed. We'll be yes. Quite literally. Your end, literally. My only wish is to make sure that my dear lovely daughter is able to have her child and that I may die in my homeland. Well, I'll do my best to make it happen, but we can't leave just yet. I feel like this this like, line especially would like speak to Tonga and you kind of like soften his heart a little bit though. Mm. so can you guys now have little uh, tatanda dwarf people on your ship now <laughs> nice. yeah. and they don't even take up that much space good for reference, uh, uh, Tonga, they'll probably be most useful with, with helping you clean the kitchen. That's cool. Obviously, I don't think they're going to go with, with us to... Always useful to have more hands in the kitchen. Yeah. Basically, you're going to have the lightning fast to Tatanda's to, to help with, like, uh, chores around the ship. Hell yeah. Right. And it's nice to have little tiny people for stealth missions. This is true. Given only one of them's really going to be uh, useful for your missions. But he's more than happy to help because you're helping him and his yeah. family. Exactly. Which I'm going to have to give Darius a stat block. Gonna... I'm pretty sure I could just kind of rip something off a sprite and call it, call it good. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Uh, so, our next uh, next call of action. Well, we have to find Woodrow. It's fucking head. Yes. Do we know where? Okay. Uh, no. To Darius, you guys haven't seen or know where Woodrow might be. Would you? It's uh, hard to say where Woodrow would be. The the, the whole island's in just utter chaos, and as you can see across the harbor, various people are just trying to hop on the, any ships that'll take them. And a lot of them are gathering up right out there, and he kind of, like, gestures to a, a, to a spot in the bay where various ships are gathering. Mm. Okay, I think we should head out there, then. Yeah. 
It, it seems like they're forming some kind of a fleet. I gotta shut this door. Yeah. It sounds like it sounds like we need to put stop. Have it here. If I just fucking sink his ship from underwater. <laughs> 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 the problem is that even if you sink his ship, he's the one devil fruit user that can... I know, right? <laughs> because of the fucking beaver grease. <laughs> I, I never even expected Ooh. beavers to be objectively that uh, that powerful. I was like, oh, Easily beaver devil fruit, that'll be silly. Him in front of his new fleet. Question his... Oh. Braveness as a captain or whatever. I kick his ass in a one v one. You could just shoot him with like gunpowder, and he'll light on fire. I don't know how flammable beaver grease is. <laughs> Quick, someone go on Google. How flammable are beavers? I'm looking it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking no. it up. Um, no, it is not. Oh, no, wait. This is bearing grease. <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, they actually. I guess it depends on what kind of grease it is, right? Like... Yeah, I guess, like, it's a... He's a beaver. Because, like, uh, the, the reason that beavers, uh, like, part of their whole thing is that they're just, uh, the, the grease that they're that they secrete across their fur and everything across their whole body is, is hydrophobic. Mm -hmm. They can also hold their breath for upwards of 15 minutes. Which is pretty incredible, honestly. We're learning so much about beavers. Okay, some grease. Mm hmm. Mm. Is flammable. So, what is the uh, what's the plan, Captain Akisu? I think one of us should, whoever has the best stealth, should like, Ooh. yeah, she, you should they lead and see who it is. Well, we, that way, we can know for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we don't know if that's actually Woodrow. We just see a bunch of fleet. We just see. Well, we yeah. know that he was like gathering ships. If ships are gathering, I feel like <laughs> that's what it is. All right, then we just go there and start blazing. I mean, we're not ready for like a ship v ship fight, but like, unfortunately, I'm like, like, uh, on the ship. unfortunately, <laughs> you guys have the implication of that's a. That kind of becomes an entire fleet under his pr control. Yeah. So the only way to really get around that is to not engage the fleet and to engage him specifically. Listen, I'm not the plan guy. <laughs> You're the I'm plan guy. Really <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the planning. I'm not the plan guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paid to run the group, not to think. <laughs> and as uh, you guys are just kind of like uh, talking plans yeah. over, uh, Tilda is just... She just like looks out. Guys, the... The snow is starting to get thicker. And, and you look around and the, the snow is indeed picking up. Like, uh, it, if any of you are familiar with, like, a, like the, the dense snowy conditions that often happen during, uh, like, big storms up uh, here in Maine, like, it's just... Is, is there even a way to, like, stop it once it's already started? Like... Listen, why don't we just set their whole fleet on fire? Rory just kind of like looks at you like Akisu look 
Kind of and he weird. gestures to uh, some of the ships in the harbor, like, I know we're pirates, but look at all those civilians. Yeah. There, there are families on this island. Yeah, that, that's why he's gathering the people, because he knows we won't want to just start killing, the, you know, the new crew. But I think, I feel like if we go out there and we're like, hey, Woodrow, <laughs> <laughs> Captain be Captain or something, you, you know. You have an ass, <laughs> Right? You want to be Captain? Prove it. Type shit. Right? Oh. And then everybody is like, if he backs uh -huh. down, you know, they're going to be like, oh, he's fucking pussy. I'm here for it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So we take the sh do we take the ship over there and act like we're joining or something? And then like once we get over there, we're like, yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we go like we go over there to see what's going on. They're not gonna or, like recognize it until we like mount or something. It, it is like like just most of the fleet is just general ships from the harbor, mm -hmm. but you do see a lot of Thai uh, ships bearing the old Thai banner, as well as some zoo ships. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Devil's Branding. <laughs> I'm trying to read it. Um, yeah, as the... Uh, uh... As you guys are discussing the plan, like you just kind of like look around, and the visibility conditions are continuing to get worse, mm -hmm. and you feel yeah, the wind pass. picking up. The, the water is becoming choppier. So we should leave now. And as uh, sure. you see that, like you see the last, there's like two or three ships left in the uh, entire harbor, uh, aside from yourselves. Mm. Wow. Yeah, this, this is... The good. way is clear. And you start to see, like, a, more and more of that fleet that was forming towards the, the kind of the center of the bay. I'm gonna have to just go roll to see what direction. They're heading east. Yeah, I'd say we follow and as close to what we assume to be Woodrow's ship as possible. Is is that what you guys want to do? Yeah. Do you guys have any other ideas? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, what? Tonga, I need, yeah, do you have any more supplies to make the poison shrapnel? No poison. Ammo? Ones. Do you have any of the red acid ones? No, no more like the mm. stuff that I don't speak. What do you I have? will say that Wait, we just make... your ship currently isn't up to battle standards, but it is being yeah. uh, worked on by the shipwrights as you are. Mm-hmm. If I can make, um, and a few of them like are loading some cannons onto the ship as you had agreed previously. Yeah, I could probably make like the oil ones again, like the ones that'll explode, like the gunpowder kind of and oil ones. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Whatever you can. I am running out of oil and gunpowder. Yeah. yeah, we can spend some time while we're sailing over there and craft some of those. Is it? I don't know. Ryan, should I roll for it? That will take some time to make, but uh, let's see. Hey, huh? with Darius's help, and maybe. All right, let's uh, uh give me a crafting roll with uh, your crafting tools. I don't, I don't know what tools you're using for the crafting. How come it's Twenty-four. Yeah. 
Okay, wow. You you rolled it with advantage, but your first roll was a 19, so... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to give you advantage, but that works out either way. So, you managed to create... Uh, let's see, I'm going to go with 1d4 of these. For a total of one. Oof. Uh, In the you, time we had, I was only like, <laughs> You're like, it's short notice. How many? Just one? One explosive round, I guess. Maybe I should use one of the bouncier D4s okay. next time. Good enough. Uh, sorry, Akitsu. All I can make on short notice. That's all good. I still have like 11. <laughs> Okay. I had like a lot more earlier. <laughs> Rory's just kind of like a looking around at the bay. Uh, Akisu, quick question: Who's nav? Who's going to navigate the ship? Right. Chibi. Chibi. That's how we do it now. Yeah, Chibi knows how to navigate. She knows how to sail it. Are you requesting to be our navigator? I I, I just kind of want to know. I mean, like the, these weather yeah, conditions. No matter how you up. slice it, that that's tough stuff. Not much of a choice. Yeah. I imagine between Chibi and Kisu, they figure. They'll figure it out. Akisu has good survival. And I did and I sail on, like, uh, for, like, a long time. Yeah. All right. Don't worry, Rory. Until we get a proper navigator. I'm sure anything North Blue is going to throw at us. We're in the North Blue, right? Yeah, yeah you're in the North <laughs> Blue. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't worry. <laughs> you guys haven't left the port just, yet? I just whispered at the time, what? Wait, we haven't left port yet. Let's go. <laughs> the winds pick up even more, and the the full blizzard starts to set in, limiting vision out to sixty feet. To, so beyond sixty feet out, it's like heavily obscured with snow and wind. Yeah. It's to sit on the on the bow and glow. <laughs> yeah, I'll be our Rudolph. <laughs> Tonga with your pecs so bright Won't you guide our ship tonight You have dark vision and magical dark vision So I mean I could help Yeah with Tonga you can see out to 120 feet Yeah <laughs> As for the, the rest of you Tonga does have resistance to cold damage, so he can stay outside longer than the rest. Anyone else has to start bundling up or or taking cold damage for each hour. I like, don't even notice it's cold. <laughs> yeah, I got a skirt on. The Tontadas uh, take a refuge below deck. Yeah. Do we still have the Zoom In Pirates, like, clothes and shit? Yeah. yeah. Kind of, uh... Some of that on to bundle up? Yeah, you, you have some, sure. but you also gotta sure. remember like that pirates. you did sell a bunch to Gordy. Yeah. yeah. Hold up! Hold up. Uh, uh, Hilda. Hilda. Yeah? I need... I need clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm naked. I'm naked. <laughs> hmm. She kind of looks at the sky a little bit and looks back to you. Well, we don't have nearly enough material here, but since most of the islands uh, kind of left, there's a tailor. Uh, there is a tailor place like a couple blocks over that we should be able to rob and get the necessary materials. Mm, do we have time for that though? We're sailing. <laughs> yeah, we're already sailing. <laughs> Can you use some of the some of the pirate clothes to chop up and make something that well, whatever we have left? She looks at some of the uh, clothes of like the Captain Vex, as well as a few of the other people that you brought on board that you killed. Why don't we? Um... Yeah, take their clothes. They don't need them. Why don't we have the uh, the spiced meat guys use the ship's kitchen? For what? To make their spiced meat that helps with being cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> they do. They, they do have they... some. They do have some of their own spices. I didn't know they were with us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just the, the uh, Darius. Well, well you guys were saying like a worst case scenario, and then it's like the little blizzard picks up. Okay, that's worst case scenario. Everyone on board. <laughs> oh, that's a lot faster than we thought. Shit. <laughs> There's no telling that even killing Woodrow would stop the loser once it's already started, but it is what it is. Well, the, that's the problem. Uh, Tilda just kind of like has her arms uh, crossed and she's like holding her arms as she kind of shivers a little bit. The dance powder is, once it starts, there is no stopping it. Uh, what a fool. My only prayer for the island that this is taking away All from. we can do is endure, right? The people of the North blew a hearty, but being buried under a mountain of snow? I don't know. Perhaps we can stop them from making it worse. How do you stop the weather? Well, if he has the dance powder, we just stop him from using more, right? If he's already used it once, like the the way it works is like you burn it. After you Maybe, burn, uh... like you, you burn an entire bag and like it covers like a hundred mile radius. Maybe he just did a little bit, kind of. It, it's not about the quantity. It's like if you do it, then the effects happen. Yeah, but can't he make it like? Work. Like, if he already started it, then how does he, you know what I mean? How does he, like, expect to control what? anything, you know? Because he's going to be just as, like, unprepared for as bad as it will be as everyone else. Yeah, but he's an idiot. Yeah, well, we just got to mm. prepare for best we can. And... Reading into uh, the... Reading into the plans of a coward. Yeah. Maybe there's a way to reverse the effect. You just kind of hear a Rory sneeze. Like, <laughs> I don't know about reversing it, but it's getting cold out here. Come on, Big yeah, Joe. I don't, yeah, don't you all <laughs> head below deck. <clears throat> and as some of you go below Jack you you just kind of uh, spe you smell like a, a very like a warm and kind of uh, caliente spicy uh, uh, aroma coming from the kitchen I, I, yeah, hope you, good. I hope you don't mind we took advantage of your kitchen Nice. You sharing? Of course, of course. And the the brothers uh, kind of like uh, in unison, like perfect symmetry, uh, walk up and present like this this dish, and they're just like, ta da! Spicy <laughs> mabo tofu curry. I got a big stomach. 
they they look to each other devilish grins upon their faces <laughs> and they they bust out a a larger plate nice I hope this just gonna will suffice, it. dear Captain. Absolutely. I just get and start eating. Nom, 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 nom. And nom, 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 nom. I, I'm going to have you make a constitution check. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they weren't joking yourself. when they said this shit's spicy. <laughs> Nine. Oh, that shit burns. <laughs> <laughs> your, has I your got e steam coming out my ears. Steam out the ears, crying. <laughs> but it it it's really spicy. Your mouth is on fire, but it's just so flavorful, and you have a hard time putting it down. <laughs> but, but, I'm just gonna but, cry while I eat it. I'm just gonna be like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the corner of the room, Snyder, you just kind of uh, see it. Oh. Just sitting in a chair at one of the tables, looking lovingly at the the brother uh, wearing blue, uh, Talum. That uh, uh, is uh, th the wife, and she's like, mm, "My man, he knows how to cook." <laughs> well, a man who knows how to cook is definitely favored amongst. Wait, Darius's wife? No, the. The uh, the spicy uh, bros. Uh, one of them oh, uh, okay. has a wife. Oh, okay. Who isn't pregnant? Probably. Being a cook is definitely <laughs> appreciated amongst those in couples. Hmm. And uh, Snyder, uh, off to uh, uh, close to the door, you kind of see. Uh, Gordy, leaning against the wall, his his long coat just kind of tucked up tight around him, and just his finger tapping incessantly. He seems rather nervous. I kind of slyly, like, scoot up next to him and just kind of lean in. What's got you so? Antsy. Uh, it, it's been a long time since I've been to the sea. And he just kind of like mean... looks up to you and you, you see like genuine fear in his eyes. Oh, I wouldn't boy. be here if I didn't have to be. Well, I mean... That damn bastard ruined everything bastard i say with a with a hint of concern what do you mean and he just has a a long sigh you know i used to be a pirate like you too i mean i just only started but hmm. go on it's always when you first start it's magical Every day is a new adventure, new horizons. And well, as it's, it went good for a while, we had a crew, got in fights, Marines chasing us, adventure, new far off lands. But then something happened. We were cursed. Lost every, lost every man I had. I was the only survivor. Barely managed to make it to this island. For the longest time, I thought I would never leave. I thought this island would be my grave. But no. I'm just hoping that your captain and your friend Tonga there are every bit as strong as they claim to be. Well, I mean, with a good doctor like me on their side, and, you know, they haven't strayed me wrong so far, I feel like we have a pretty 
pretty good shot of at least handling this with some grace. I'm just hoping that that curse is behind me. Even now, I can, I can feel him following. Him. You keep referring to uh, someone. I, 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 I'm having a hard time following on who this someone is. The Great Sea King, Gargucha. Hmm. <laughs> I can imagine just like the concerned look on Snyder's face. <laughs> just the the um. All right. Assuming for that I'm from Skypea, I haven't. <laughs> you don't even know what a sea king is. is. <laughs> exactly. You you so think it's like... a person? <laughs> yeah, like this guy's crazy. <laughs> this. this... <laughs> This man sounds very menacing. <laughs> You're this scared of him. <laughs> oh. He's no man. But a great creature of the deep. He took everything from me. Gold. Riches. Friends. Any chance of having a family. All gone. A ship. All of it. He he took your dick? No, he didn't take my dick. <laughs> but you said he lost all hopes of having a family. <laughs> the only woman I ever loved was on that ship. Uh, uh I see. Yeah, so the, as you can see, I'm kind of getting up there in years and just... Uh, he took your dick. <laughs> no, 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 no. He didn't take my dick. It's just a. Uh... Oh, well, well, maybe. I, I've I've had very sleepless nights and just uh, can't really get it up anymore. <laughs> You're a doctor. What should I do? Hey, man. I'm not that, that kind of doctor. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person, Tonga knows. <laughs> could, could you give us a consultation? <laughs> I mean, if you think to yourself long and hard about. Hmm, I don't know where I'm going with that. About uh, long and hard. <laughs> about <laughs> long, 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 and long and hard. <laughs> Just to get long and hard, you have to think long and hard thoughts. Exactly. <laughs> He's cooking. <laughs> Let him cook. Let him cook. It's a state of mind, you see. <laughs> Being aroused is a state of mind. And your state of mind is anxiety. We have to get rid of the anxiety. <laughs> yeah. He just, he just kind of like goes quiet for a moment, just looks out distantly at nothing in particular well i place my hand on his on his shoulder to reassure him i can assure you that we will do everything in our power to protect you from the seeking <laughs> i love that <laughs> realistically you just be like king that's a person right <laughs> I, who who <laughs> We'll protect you from this king. <laughs> we shall protect you from the ruler of these seas. <laughs> He'll never get you again. He shall never take your penis again. <laughs> I definitely say, like, as, as we're kind of standing uh, up on the ship, um, we're kind of like having this moment to ourselves. I do mm. want to think on, like, have I heard of any sea kings in the area? Mm. So you're you're above deck, and like uh, these yeah. conversations are happening in the kitchen, right? I'm just kind of thinking to myself, like as we approach this like fleet, as I'm looking out across the snowy waters. Uh, make a perception check uh, with a disadvantage, just because like mm -hmm. 
terrible, terrible conditions. Yeah. That thing spun on 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 10. <laughs> the water's dark. The sky's dark. <laughs> and everything's just kind of like the snow is fluttering by you. And it almost looks like a that effect that you see in like the Star Wars movies that when you're moving at warp speed ooh, ooh, nice. you, you turn back to uh, Chibi and you just see oh, her like oh, try, <laughs> trying to uh, steer her way through this <laughs> like you she's a little bit better with dealing with the cold thanks to the fur uh, Chibi can I get a navigation check yeah which uh, for you is just going to be straight survival. You know, I also do have like proficiency with water vehicles. 17. Okay. Um, you, you man, actually, that would be with disadvantage given the conditions. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Just, just one more roll. There we go. Oh, okay. 12. <laughs> okay, 12. We'll, we'll go with that. So you are you're trying to keep pace uh, and like you can't see more than a hundred feet in front of you and you just like kind of call out uh, you see Tonga out there lighting the way a little bit but it, it's almost like being stuck inside a massive snow globe yeah and the waves are getting choppier and choppier all around you Since I ate that, can I go up to the top of the ship without taking cold damage? Uh, the the cold damage uh, is like a, at an hourly basis, but like yeah, a, you know what? In the cold. S since you got fur, I'm gonna give it. I'll just say like a. It takes two Who's hours before you reach that. Cheapy. Oh. I was asking for a kizu. Oh, for a kizu, it's just like a. You take a D4 of cold damage every hour. I think I'll stay inside then. So just before you start taking damage, like you dip in and out. Yeah. yeah. It, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, wow, it's really cold out here. I'm going back inside. Yeah. Oh, okay. But if like someone wanted to stay uh, watch outside, then okay, like in the crow's nest, then, then they might start taking cold damage over the c course of their time keep and watch yeah Tilda couldn't take the clothes off the bodies and make clothes oh no yeah, she can it's just it's, it's going to take her time to yeah, that's true. like like back below deck you just have like Tilda taking your measurements yeah I was about to say can I have her do it anyway just for the future I like to imagine she has to like tape two measuring tapes together <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, like she's really got to work uh, with stuff and like only really has the one measuring tape so she like, just yeah, it takes like a thing. she takes a strip of cloth and just stretches it along the measuring tape and like cuts it to be the exact same length huh. and she's just like she's she's got her hands full trying to get Akisu's measurements <laughs> and uh, uh Anything else you guys got going on uh, above deck? Okay. Can I make like a history check on the uh, if I know of any or have heard of any sea kings in the area? All right, go, go ahead. Sixteen. You do know that the, the North Blue uh, doesn't have too too many sea kings but they pop up from time to time and over the past uh over the past couple of years there's been more sea king uh sightings in the local area mm -hmm. yeah i feel like tonga would be kind of like as he's like looking out towards the fleet and like that waiting for our approach he's kind of thinking on it and he's like sea king in the area Interesting. Yeah, you find yourself wondering about when uh, such a thing would make itself 
known given the the terrible conditions because you know that even uh, when it comes to uh, even a good storm like this would affect things below uh, the waves as well yeah absolutely yeah I feel like that's another thing he kind of be thinking about he's like feeling a little bad for the ocean he's like he knows they're not like, prepared for this yeah, because lots of sea life would have uh, properly begun their, are probably in the middle of their migration patterns. Yeah. Because this is a month before the snow is supposed to drop. It'd be like a shock to the ecosystem type of deal. Yeah, Tonga would be the only one that'd be like, damn, what about the environment, man? Yeah, he's like, oh, fucking ocean, man. Fuck. <laughs> Like all those poor fish. The fishing is gonna suck now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna be fucked. <laughs> the fish. You know what? You're right. The fishing <laughs> would be kind of bad after that. All the fish are like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> all right. There's like a part of him that like he wants to go underwater, but he's like he knows he can't yet. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, as you look out, like everything's just you're losing. Uh, like it was already getting darker and darker until the it already seems like it's it's nighttime. If if I need to, like if Chibi needs a break, um, I will like I'll take over for. Her. As far as like steering goes, since I do have like the proficiency in it and stuff. All right, with that you can navigate, but uh, it is like yeah, it, it's shitty. <laughs> it, there's just also the factor of you were trying to keep up with their fleet, and you know the general yeah. direction that they were going. However, if they change direction, you don't know, and you wouldn't know. Right. Would we be like, from what we at least remembered before it, the visibility got bad? Would we like be expecting to reach them pretty soon? You don't know. All right, then. Because like uh, you guys uh, headed out uh, way after, like the fleet uh, primarily got together. Mm -hmm. How do how do Dun Dun Mushu's work? Do you ever like have someone's number, or can you just be like, I want to talk to this person? You, you gotta you gotta know who you're contacting. Okay. Like a it, it is it's very much a uh, somewhere between walkie talkie and uh, hey, I got this person's number deal. Gotcha. Okay. But you're able to call below deck if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I'll kind of... Now I'll probably just, like, take a minute to go below deck to kind of give everyone, like, an update, like, what's going on. Yeah. And and as as you enter in, you just kind of, like, uh, hit with, like, a burst of, like, uh, warm air from all of the... Uh, you, you see just a whole bunch of the shipwrights uh, uh, from earlier taking a supper break, and the, the, the two guys have from before have effectively taken over your kitchen i'm a little little sauced about it but it's fine <laughs> like, <laughs> and i'm like ah feels great in here smells delicious uh we should be coming up on them soon i think it's getting quite bad out there yeah then uh as you're talking to everyone about it uh, Tilda just kind of uh, looks to Akisu. Uh, I'm worried we're going to get lost in this storm. By the way, your measurements are done. And she just like <laughs> shuts her notebook. <laughs> now, once we get to the next island, we can probably uh, purchase all the necessary stuff. If you have any uh, design ideas, just please don't hesitate to let me know. 
o Akisu outfit change. <laughs> nice. Um, Hello. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of chill for a bit, I guess. Until we reach. And... Alright, I gotta make some rules. Make some rules. Oh, shit. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, chibi. As you are sailing up through the big old storm up top, you, you see a massive wave kind of coming over uh, right out of your peripheral. I'm going to have you make a, uh, a a strength save to keep control of the helm. As the as the, the ship just gets completely buffeted by this thing. Uh, everyone below deck, uh, make a deck save. Okay. It's just regular? Yep. 13. Okay, Chibi. As oh wait, no that that's your previous save, not the uh Yeah, that was it. Hold on. Let me see. In the saving throw. Okay, so oh. er everyone uh below a 12 kind of uh, loses their balance below deck. Chibi, <laughs> as you are you are gripping this wheel desperately. And like you push against it and you feel your muscles strain and before you know it you're thrown backwards and the sh and the wheel spins violently Oof. you kind of like a recoil is f pulling yourself back to your feet and the ship starts lurching off to the left mm. yeah, definitely okay so feeling this in the kitchen boom, 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 boom. yeah i imagine you guys would like <laughs> fling to the side this was Snyder and Akisu fucking bust their ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just like kind of crashed to the ground. Thanks for joining us on this wild D&D &D adventure. We hope you had as much fun as we did. And if you're itching for more One Piece D&D &D or Nerd Militia Chaos, make sure to hit up our YouTube channel for all the latest shenanigans. Stay connected with us on Twitter at the Nerd Militia Zero for all the spicy updates. And if you're feeling generous or just want to keep us caffeinated, swing by our link tree and Patreon. Your support keeps the madness going. Until next time, adventurers, stay nerdy, stay awesome.